Let me begin by saying I don't sew. Not with a machine. I stitch, I cross stitch, but I don't sew. My sister and I resolved to make two pairs of capri pants today together. We have the material and I have my sewing machine. And she came over, she's the sewer. She knows how to sew, not I. And she came over and we spent all morning with the stupid pattern. I've never sewed anything with a pattern thing that you have to go and buy. You know, like a butterick or I don't even know, Vogue, whatever. And we did measurements and we cut the pattern things out and we cut out the cloth and pinned it together and I got my sewing machine out and she was setting it up because I can't even do that. And she touched the knobby thing that adjusts the stitching type thing, whether it's straight or weavy or whatever. And we both heard something click and drop and it's, it's just a hot mess. So here it is. It's almost two o'clock. She arrived at 9.30 this morning and my sewing machine is broken. She's gone to get hers that's 40 years old. Well, no, she had it in 70, 75. She bought it in 75. Mine is literally brand new. It's not even six years old, and I only use it to sew a square around my pieces of cross-stitch cloth. Maybe I use it twice a year. My sister, as I said, has gone to get her own machine. So, pff. Yesterday's little video was an app Patrick found on his iPad pad and you talk into it and then the little cat repeats what you say you can record it and then and then post it as I did I was amused at the time but it's a little too cute for me so yesterday's video was it a cheat or not I'm stopping now Oh, I have one more question. Is it worth it? I found the broken piece in the sewing machine. It's a tiny little cog that broke in half on that wheel. Do I take it and get it fixed? The machine only cost me $300. My sister's is much more impressive. I'd like to know if it's worth replacing or getting fixed. That's it, that's all.